Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. Today we have the last video about Infinix 05, and we will talk about camera. It is one of the main features of this phone, just like performance and battery. In general, I think the Infinix 05 is a very underrated smartphone. It has very powerful hardware, stylish design, big battery, and very promising cameras. You can watch unboxing, performance, and battery tests by the links in description. First of all, Infinix 05 comes with dual rig camera, and unlike many budget Chinese phones, the secondary sensor really helps to make photos with bokeh effect. On the back panel, there is 12 megapixel wide angle lens and 13 megapixel telephoto lens for bokeh effect and optical zoom from 2x to 10x. On the front panel, you can find 16 megapixel sensor with f2.0 aperture. As for the camera app, it has some differences from stock Android. There is shutter button, gallery icon, and change the front back cameras. A little higher, you can see different modes such as video, photo, auto, portrait, and professional. If you choose auto mode and click on 2x zoom, then you will see a slider to change the optical zoom up to 10x. At the top, there is HDR, flashlight, and setting menu. As usual, the settings menu provides more options to configure camera, such as photo and video resolution, picture size, and others. Now let's look at real sample photos. Infinix 05 makes amazing images for its price category. I know that Xiaomi mid-range phones, for example, Xiaomi Mi A1, make very good photos, but Infinix 05 looks very similar to it. The photos in daylight conditions are saturated, bright, colorful, and detailed. I use the auto mode without HDR, and it makes great shots. Also, I want to note that Infinix 05 has real secondary camera. You can use it to make high-quality portrait photos. You don't need to make any configuration, just choose portrait mode, tap on screen to focus, and press shutter button to make portrait photo. Another highlight of this smartphone is optical zoom. You can choose from 2x to 10x zoom. The quality is really good. The front camera did not surprise me, it takes average images. The manufacturer says that front camera also blurs the background to make portrait photos, but dual rig camera better copes with this task. As for the night photos, they are not impressive as images in daylight conditions. Yes, you can still take good pictures if you find a place with good lighting, but you need to make more effort. Quite often, the phone makes good photos, but the video is terrible. Fortunately, this is not about Infinix 05. The smartphone shoots good videos in daytime. Also, it doesn't shake and pretty stable, although there is no image stabilization.
and Phoenix Zero 5 has a very good camera, especially I like how it takes photos in daytime. I can compare this phone with OnePlus 5, but its price is almost twice cheaper. Also, Zero 5 makes amazing portrait photos with blurred background. Another highlight of camera is 10x zoom. However, when you see night images, you understand why it costs twice cheaper than flagship phones, and Phoenix Zero 5 takes average images in low-light conditions. I would like the photos to be better, but I can now ask for more from $230. Thanks for watching. In the description you can find links where to buy smartphone cheaper and to original photos and videos. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.